Because of the climate change, the disease pattern is changing in the pulses. Therefore, the continuous monitoring is required to keep a track of the diseases which are emerging or will become important in the future. As we have seen that changing climate plays a major role and the climatic variables like the increased temperature, erratic rainfall distribution and elevated carbon dioxide, these are the climatic variables that will play a major role in changing the diseases in pulses. We have seen in the past and our research have shown that there are certain diseases which were minor earlier and now becoming major. For example, in chickpea, there are diseases like dry root rot, which was not known to be an important disease and is becoming important in future. And probably that frequency of distribution will increase a lot because of the changes in the increased temperature coupled with the moisture stress. So that is a drought type of condition that occurs at the time of flowering and potting that is predisposing this disease. Therefore, there is a need to continuously breed for a new crop resistant varieties for such diseases. For example, in pigeon pea also, we have have seen that the diseases like phytophthora blight as we can see here that's becoming important as compared to the resistant plant which we can see which is standing green in the field that such type of distribution of these dried plants or due to this phytophthora blight is increasing a lot because of the increase in the heavy downpour within a short span of time that is leading to a temporary flooding and causing a room for the pathogen to flourish more in that environment therefore there is a need for uh, to continuously monitor these diseases and there are certain research areas and the gaps which we need to address for example we should be continuously breeding for new crop varieties which is an essential part of the crop improvement program and that we are already in the process with our national and international partners to breed for such varieties and secondly we need to develop the models like forecast models or the prediction models and see and develop the decision support system which will be very useful for the farmers in future to predict the uh, these diseases and go for by the policy makers for the tactical and the strategic decisions in future. Then there is also a need for the technological transfer. These uh, improved crop protection technologies that have been developed by the researchers of the national and international part that need to be transferred to the farmers or to the policy makers, which was not happening in the past because these diseases were not known to be or not monitored earlier. But now with the changing climate patterns, we can see a lot of change in the geographical distribution of the disease as well as the cropping systems and in that case the concerted efforts of the national and international partners is required there is a need to go for the, these crop production technologies and then so that we can maintain or sustain the productivity of these pulses in future in the unpredictable environment these efforts will be necessary in future to sustain the livelihood of the resource poor farmers therefore this year being an international year of pulses will help be full in a useful in a various ways like in selling or disseminating the research what we have generated in the past and then in the present in terms of the changing climate and the emerging diseases so we need to keep a track of these all these diseases as well as the varieties what we are breeding for the future therefore if we have to help the resource poor farmers or the smallholder farmers today or tomorrow we need to act now